Hello everyone, this is Uma Shankar. In this session, we are going to learn how to use while loop in YC integration. So, like other programming languages, we can use while loop to loop our actions as long as a specific condition is met. Let's understand the while loop by the help of one hands-on practice. In this example, we are going to compare two numbers. We have two numbers assigned the first variable to 1 and second variable to 4. We are comparing the two numbers. We are checking the 4 greater than 1. Our expectation is to uh, iterate this while loop three times. So let's see how we can uh, how we can uh, perform this activity using OIC integration. I just connected to the OIC application. Click on menu, integrations and integrations. So I'm going to create a new integration. So in, the, in this example, I'm going to select the schedule orchestration. So we are not going to configure any request and response payload. Just we are trying to evaluate the condition so that I'm taking a schedule orchestration. Select, let me give some meaningful name, batch 01 loop activity integration. Okay. Okay, click on create. Let me make it horizontal. Okay. So uh, to perform this activity, first we need two variables. In order to do that, let me take an assign activity. Take here, assign variables, click on create. Here I'm going to declare two variables. Okay. So variable A and uh, let me assign the value with one. Validate, close. Let me take a variable to variable B and assign the value to 4. We wanted to iterate the loop up to 4 times. Let me give the 4. Validate, close. Okay. Validate and close. Now I'm going to evaluate this condition where I'm checking variable B greater than variable A, right? In order to do this, click on action, take this while loop, pull here, give the meaningful name, while loop, click here. So I'm going to check this condition. This condition is where variable B greater than variable A. Right, we wanted to loop this item, this uh, loop three times. Right, so what I can do? Variable be put here. So basically, we create this uh, variable with a string format. I'm going to convert into number format. Okay. So if you don't need this, don't know this function, what you can do? You, you can search this, search the function here, number function. Okay. Either you can drag and uh, drop this function here. Okay. And here you can select the greater than and select the variable A. Okay, this is our condition. So I am also converting this value to number validate close. Okay, so now what I am going to do? So I am going to take one more SN activity. I want to increment this variable, right? Variable A. First time it's a 1, I want to make it is a 2, 3, 4, up to, up to this condition evaluates, right? So in order to do this, what I can do, assign increment, okay, assign increment, give some meaningful name, let me select this, take the variable, variable A, okay. So I'm going to increment the value every time by one within the loop. So again, I'm going to convert this number format plus one, okay, validate. Okay, let me close this, validate and close. So within the loop, this loop will be incremented for each and every iteration, right? Initially, it's one, it will increment next in the first next loop, it will come to two. Similarly, next loop, it will come to three. Once it come to four, it will 
exit from the loop right it will evaluates three times so what i can do to test this integration i'm going to take a notification activity you can just drag and drop the notification here we are going to send a email communication notification click on create okay click on from here you can give your email id okay validate this is your from email id close it you can select the two email address here you can copy paste the same thing same email address close okay here you can give the some subject subject while loop executed okay give some uh, meaningful name validate and close okay here you can write your message body hi please find the increment value find the increment value okay increment value okay so we can print the increment value here records yc t okay so while creating notification if you want to print value so you can declare a variable here you can see the option here click on here so i'm going to give, uh, give the name as variable notification okay click in expression builder so take one concat concat symbol concat function concat okay so i'm going to in the string one i'm going to put some message increment value is okay in the value in the string two you can put your increment uh, value variable a okay validate and close okay so i'm going to print this message in the uh, email message body in order to do this just select the chain bracket put here okay within the chain bracket you have to print the message validate and close okay okay so we already enabled uh, tracking variables if you see if you want to see you already enable the tracking variable save right let me close this so now i'm going to activate this integration click on here okay so we are enabling the tracing for a testing purpose activate integration is activated action in progress now i'm going i'm now i'm going to run the is integration right so submit now okay submit so the instance id automatically generated click on here right so it's in queue see it's succeeded if you click on here so here if you see the iterations total iteration 1 2 3 right this condition evaluated up to three times right once it's increased to four it's automatically come out from the while loop right so we are in, and also we are we received three three uh, emails in the while loop let's see let's log connect to the gmail and we can see the how many emails are triggered so now i can see three mails are received from oic right so the first increment value is 2 the next time the increment value is 3 and also the increment value is printed to 4 the moment it will come to 4 automatically it will exit from the loop so this is the way how we can implement the uh, uh, while loop in the real time scenarios okay thank you everyone